Hello and welcome back. This is Chris with Marksman Shooting Sports in Westfield, Indiana, and we are here today doing a range test in comparison with the new Springfield Saint, the Ruger AR556, and the Smith & Wesson M&P15 Sport II. We did a tabletop review in comparison of these three rifles already. Uh, that video actually did pretty well, and people seemed to enjoy it for the most part, so we thought we'd take it a step further and come out and uh, shoot some groups and see which ones perform better. Um, we're going to start off with just a function test. These are all three brand new out of the box, never had a round through them, so you'll get an honest look at how they will uh, perform right out of the box. Any malfunctions and everything we're going to leave right in the video for you to see so you can make that judgment for yourself when you're looking at any one of these threes. Uh, any one of these three AR-15s. Uh, so we'll go ahead, we'll start off with a function test, we'll run 30 rounds through each, and then we'll move on from there. M&P 15 Sport, 30 rounds. Alright, 100% function, no jams. We'll go ahead and move into the Saint. A little rough getting that to seat. Let's try that again. Got it to lock a little bit stiff. Maybe that'll loosen it up with some use. Uh, about 30 rounds again. Is I think 27 rounds just like the M&P, 100% function and reliability. Now we've got the Ruger AR556. Getting a little bit of trouble getting that to seat. Uh, still goes in fine, uh, just a little bit more than the M&P. That was 30 rounds, 100% reliability. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and shoot a few five shot groups and see what kind of a performance we get out of these three. Starting with the M&P 15 Sport 2. Okay, we'll go ahead and move into the Saint. And now we have the Ruger AR-556. All 
All right, guys, let's talk about this. Uh, I was shooting at about 50 yards on a bench. Uh, down here was our first group with the M&P 15. Uh, that's looking at about a that's looking at about a two inch, maybe one and a half to two inches. Um, we give up into the Saint. Actually, this is a pretty good group. And actually, I'm sorry, back down here, I was actually aiming dead center, so a little bit low. Uh, Saint here, I was aiming right up between the eyes, a little bit low to the right, and I'm not the best shooter in the world, and I'll admit that. Uh, but we got a group of about four here and then one flyer. This right here is probably about an inch and a half. Uh, this opens it up to about a two and a half inch group here, but that was just one bad flyer. Down here we have the best, and this is with the Ruger, and I was shooting dead center, so pretty low, but three rounds pretty much within the same hole. Then we had two up here. This is actually probably about a three quarter inch group to an inch. So not bad, definitely none of them. I'm shooting sub MOA, but still very good accuracy out of the three for what they are. Okay, now I'm gonna shoot five rounds from each again, this time standing and offhand. M&P 15 Sport. AR-556. Now the same. Okay, this is standing. This is the M&P 15. Opened up quite a bit. Uh, I'd probably say that's about three and a half to four inches between those two. Moving up to the Saint, I opened up way a lot. Uh, this is about, uh, I really should have brought a tape measure out here, but that's probably about six to seven inches. And down here in the Ruger again, really actually pretty tight in here at about two to three inches. If I stretch it out to here, maybe about five inches. So uh, again, pretty uh, good performance out of the three. We have still not had any stoppages. Okay, now I am gonna do a couple quick reload drills uh, with them. I'm gonna start off with three rounds in a PMAG and then do a reload to two rounds in an aluminum uh, cold, uh, you know, military GI magazine. I uh, will run all three just for speed. Um, I don't have on a tactical vest or anything. I'm not that cool, unfortunately. So I'm gonna stick this one in the pocket of my hoodie, make it a little bit more of a challenge, whatever. So we'll just have fun with it. We will start out with the M&P 15 Sport 2. Now we will move on to the Ruger AR 5.56. And finally, the Saint. Now we're just gonna have some fun. I have four uh, soda cans down there. I'm gonna put four rounds through each. Again, we're at about 40 to 50 yards. Uh, let's see which one can score the best. See if I can get all four and just four rounds with each gun. It's a Ruger AR-556. Right, and here's the Saint four cans. I'm gonna aim a little bit high on these again. <laughs> I guess I nicked that one.
All right, on this Saint, we did end up hitting all four. The first one, we kind of winged a little bit off to the upper right hand of it. So uh, let's try again. I'm gonna aim a little bit high again with the S and W. On that one, it did take five shots to get all four. I kind of cheated on the last one and uh, fired a second round off. If you guys enjoyed that, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, just let us know down in the comment section. Anyway, this is Chris with Marksman Shooting Sports in Westfield, Indiana. This is Marksman TV. See you next time.